Hi, today we're going to do an introduction to Piccolo, which is a free audit analytics and fraud detection uh, piece of desktop software. We're going to look at Piccolo 4.38, which is available from piccolo.org forward slash download. Piccolo can connect to databases, it can connect to flat files, uh, say Excel files or text files, and Piccolo can also automate what it does because as we run our commands, we collect the history here that we can then put into scripts to automate what we do. We can join data both within a database and on the desktop. And we have a number of ways of analyzing data. One of the uh, interesting we, things we can do is run what are called descriptives. So even if we just want to get a sense of our data, the highs, the lows, the averages, and then we have an ability to do uh, find outliers and trends and to go and sort, stratify, summarize, create pivot tables. One of the cool things about Piccolo, and uh, this is very helpful even if you're using another product to do your data analytics right now, is it comes with a number of audit detectlets. And these are pre-written analytics or scripts that you can use to go and check things like uh, employees with invalid social security numbers. Uh, you can go run it on your payments to find duplicated invoices or cancel checks that are out of sequences. Certainly it has a number of procurement options here to analyze bids, last bidder, multiple bids on the same day, similar bid prices. And then we have some interesting uh, analytics here to look at products, excessive returns, and we can also go and analyze our vendors, look for uh, fraudulent vendor numbers and vendors that have mail drop addresses and things like that. So if even if you are using another tool to do your data analytics right now, this is great to download for free. Just take a look at the detectlets because what's very nice about them is that they come with, in many cases, sample data. So for example, if we were going to go and look at sequential invoices here under payments, find sequential invoices. We have a nice description here of what we're looking for and why we do it. We also have some input data. So for example, in this test, what we're doing is looking for sequential invoices because that's often a indication that uh, a fraud, uh, you really only have one customer for that company. So every month you send them just another invoice that goes up in sequence number. So you can see here that it's given us 8,078 sample records from a number of vendors. And it will prompt us to answer a few questions, find the invoice number field, the vendor ID, and the output table name. So we'll just let that run for about 10 seconds. And this is a great way to get a sense of the data that you want to request from the IT department. If you want to go and do some of these analytics, you can say, I need a table that has these four fields, for example. So the way we'd interpret that is McKenzie Supply sent us 832 sequential invoices. Only 90 of them were out of sequence. And that's about 90% of the invoices we got from this vendor in this sample were in sequence, whereas the other ones range from 2 to about 4%. So the other things to note here about uh, Piccolo is that we can go and look at tables that are local here within databases. We can also go and analyze and delete them and work with them on the disk as well as a representation here. Piccolo is open source software. It's a community. It's evolving. Piccolo 5.0 uh, should be released sometime in 2012. But for now, you can go and get Piccolo 4.38 from piccolo.org forward slash download. You can also go to internalauditanalytics.com for a lot more information about audit analytic tools and fraud detection.